Gary, have you come down yet? Uh, not quite. Uh, I think, uh, and I know it's time when I'm on the golf course, I'll be, like, I'll be a little bit down to earth. Uh, but no, it was a wonderful occasion. Um, one of these special nights at Anfield, you know, people talk about it so often and so many times, but I think that really eclipses them all. Uh, to, meet, to beat the mighty Barcelona 4-0 at home uh, without Firmino, without Mohamed Salah, it was, uh, it was incredible. And in your wildest dreams, did you see that coming before the game? Not really. I thought we might win the game. Uh, I thought we could score. I think we, we showed enough in uh, the Camp Nou the week before that we, we could create chances. Uh, unfortunately for us, we didn't take them over there, but uh, I thought we had to be clinical, and I thought we were. Uh, but I think, as I said before, when you're without Firmino, without Mo Salah, some like 40-odd goals out your side, you're not really you know, holding out too much hope, to be quite honest with you. But uh, as I say, everything worked out on the night, and you know, sometimes what's for you won't go past you, and hopefully it's uh, also the case all the way to Madrid and we can win the final. And what about that fourth goal? Brilliant by Trent. Oh, I mean, I was just—I was talking about like the maturity that he showed. You know, even to win the corner, you know, have to, to have the, the, the common sense to like because he was going nowhere. He had no other options but other to, to win the corner. And then when he won the corner, and to have that, you know, that vision and, and, and awareness to see that so early. And all credit to Divock Origi because it wasn't an easy ball to take. It was on a kind of half volley, kind of bouncing a little bit in front of him, and it was a good finish as well. But you know, all credit to Trent. I thought again, he was like sensation. And what about Sunday now? Well, that will look after itself. Um, you know, I think they've got a few bumps and scrapes to, to, to sort out. Um, it looks like Salah might be back for that game, uh, but it's going to be a tough ask. I think uh, you look at Man City's form and it's been absolutely sensational. It's been a wonderful season all, all, all through the, the, the campaign. I can't see Man City slipping up, but you never know. You know, who would have thought that Liverpool would have beat Barcelona 4-0? So sometimes football has these idiosyncrasies and they throw up these ironies and hopefully from a Liverpool point of view, that's the same case at the weekend on Sunday. And good luck this afternoon on the golf course. Yes, I'll need more of that, yeah. <laughs>